welcome to Arrow TV. Uh, and the first thing that we have to talk about is the anticipation that this is the year the Skycatcher starts getting into the hot little hands of people all over the country. How's that process going? It's going very well, Jim. We've been uh, busy finishing up our uh, compliance testing, both flight testing as well as the structural testing. Assembly line has started and, and production parts are being made, and it's uh, great to see that going. And, we're uh, looking forward to uh, delivering first aircraft in the second half of 2009. If you would, let's go over a little bit about the plans for 09 as far as what's going to be produced, where it's going to be, and how, that's, uh, how the initial deliveries will be handled. Once the uh, first airplanes are completed, they'll do their production flight test at the factory. Then they will be uh, shipped to the U.S. to uh, first to uh, Yingling in Wichita for the initial reassembly, and uh, then they will be uh, delivered uh, through the, the local uh, stars to the, to the customers. What remains to be done on the project at this point? Uh, where is the aircraft in the overall scheme of things? Well, we had our little spin uh, accident in September and had a chance to go back and uh, talk with the pilot, look at the wind tunnel data, um, go back into the wind tunnel with a couple of different uh, possible configuration changes, identified what we wanted to do to make sure that uh, there, there were not any issues uh, uh, if the pilots accidentally got into a spin, uh, put a new vertical tail on the airplane with slightly uh, uh, change in shape and area, and then uh, we're back to flight testing and it's going very well, and uh, we're structural testing the, the new vertical tail also. Well, Cessna has had an extraordinary reputation for starting people in aviation, and your adoption and commitment to the LSA movement is obviously both exemplary as well as out here eagerly anticipated. How is the initial training uh, program coming along, and how will that be implemented across the country? Um, Cessna is uh, working with uh, King Schools to have the new curriculum, and when we're done with our compliance testing, uh, well, they'll be doing some video with the Skycatcher, and the plan is to have that all ready uh, when we start delivering aircraft. Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single-engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system. With its detailed design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at CirrusDesign.com. Now you've got, as I understand it, three primary assembly centers, but there will be a uh, larger dealer network that will be supporting the aircraft? Yes, we have our uh, Cessna Star dealership that customers will take their deliveries through after the airplanes are reassembled at one of the three sites. Now, the whole process obviously started with LSA, but as I understand, both through the testing and research and development on this aircraft, you kind of went a bit above and beyond that, didn't you? Yes, and that's one thing that's really uh, great about uh, having our, the, the, lo the deep roots in light aircraft that we've been able to tap into uh, experts within a company who have literally worked on single-engine aircraft for 40 years, and there's... You know, you pick their brains and say, all right, where, what do we need to watch out for, whether it's uh, 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 extra strength here or there, particularly in the landing gear or, or tie-down areas. You just want to make sure that the airplane's robust and, and will have a, a good uh, uh, service history. Well, let's put you on the spot a little bit here. Let's compare this to a 150. You learned to fly in the 150, and now in this aircraft, uh, how will somebody who's uh, transitioned from a 150 or 152 feel going into this airplane? First thing they'll notice, it's quite a bit roomier. Uh, when I learned to fly in a 150, I didn't know it was crowded or cramped. So, but it's it's more like a Cessna 206 in, in shoulder width. Uh, the visibility is very good. The, lo the windows uh, and the door are, are very low cut. Forward visibility is good too. Uh, the airplane's quite a bit lighter for the same amount of power, so rate of climb, takeoff, performance all, all around it, it is, uh, is improved. Uh, the airplane's cleaner, so it's faster than a 150, and, but stays within the, the boundaries of the light sport aircraft category. So I think uh, people will very much enjoy it. The stick is very fun. If you like control sticks, you'll like flying this. and. Uh, just with uh, overall it's just a lot of fun to fly. 
Well, the stick is a unique design, and the nice part is, is it seems to be very convenient. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've had a chance to fly all kinds of center sticks, side sticks, mm -hmm. and, and so forth over the years. Uh, this is a unique arrangement for us. We haven't seen anything quite like it before, but more important, it's just very comfortable to use. Mm -hmm. And that was, when the engineer came up with it, we realized that he did a great job of coming up with a stick that felt like a floor-mounted stick, mm -hmm. but wasn't. Uh, you, sometimes you have to remind people when they get in, don't twist it like uh, some of the other sticks. Mm -hmm. And when you see people move it and feel that arcing motion, it's just like, wow, okay. And uh, it just it does feel very good in flight. You've heard of this thing called WAS, right? The Wide Area Augmentation System lets you fly GPS glide path approaches without relying on ground-based landing aids. No VOR, no ILS, no problem. Fact is, WAS is so smart, it even knows what you're going to say next time you need it. And don't have it on board. Wah, wah, I want my WAS now! I was really crying there for a second. Now, as I understand, too, the O200D that will be going in this has been lightened considerably. So you've got a package here that's a little bit of the best of everything that's currently available for the LSA market. That's right. Continental has done a great job of taking a, a proven engine, taking about 24, 25 pounds out of the engine, um, and they've, uh, they've certified it, uh, the, the D version, uh, in October. Um, they've completed their testing for the TBO extension to 2,000 hours, so we're looking forward to having a, people have a good, uh, known, reliable pro power plant. Well, we expect the LSA community to be, be a bit more hands-on, and obviously under the ASTM guidelines, there's a lot of things that we can do as private owners without a uh, maintenance certification in regards to oil changes and basic brake work and basic inspections and so forth. Is there going to be an opportunity for Cessna to do a little bit of evangelizing on uh, what people can do for themselves and how to do it correctly and not screw up the works? I think there's going to have to be an education process to make sure whether it's maintaining or even just the differences with light sport aircraft in general that there are no 337 forms, there's no STCs that, that people need to work with the company if there's changes that, want to, that they want to have done they, because otherwise they uh, risk putting the aircraft back in an experimental category. Okay. And final question. Uh, obviously, the, the, the problem with airplanes is that you, know, you, you, you do have to maintain them. You do have to mm -hmm. take care of them. Uh, what kind of uh, maintenance procedures or what kind of maintenance availability is there going to be for folks with new uh, sky catchers who don't necessarily know all the things that they mm -hmm. need to know or, for that matter, may not be qualified to do some of the things they need to keep their airplanes in the air? Well, our product support group and our uh, technical publication group Right now, they are putting together the, the maintenance manuals, parts catalogs, and making sure that especially the maintenance procedures are properly identified for whether an A&P is required or a uh, approved LSA repairman. And so that they're going through all that right now, identifying tasks and just making sure everything's all set up so when people get their aircraft that they'll be able to uh, have them uh, properly maintained and, you know, Cessna dealers can do it or... or in, you know, any other approved uh, facilities. And uh, one last question. I'm going to add one more thing. If you, if you want one right now, how long wait is it? Well, I think I'll uh, send you to the sales guys for sure by, I believe, around 2012. Ouch. So those, who's, those who got in early are, are going to benefit pretty greatly at this point. Yes, but there's also, I'd say, if people are interested in purchasing one, contact your local uh, Cessna Star just to see if they have one uh, available sooner. So it's always good to talk to your local uh, dealer and see what's available. Well, we're looking forward to flying the airplane, and we're certainly uh, impressed to see it come so far so quickly. And more important than anything else, it's a cute little devil. Well, thank you very much. We're really looking forward to getting it into the uh, customer's hands.